Uh -huh. Where are my Where are my glasses? I make stolen my Oh. Was they find glasses? Well, um so as you can see, this is why your eyes are one of the most important organs in your body. Why? Simply because they help you interact with your world, especially the world around you. So imagine you're watching this video without your eyes. It will probably look like this. Which is one of the worst things that can actually happen to your eyes, a total loss of vision. But there are other things that can happen, for example, short-sightedness. In other words, when you remove your glasses like this, far things become blurry. Or long-sightedness, things that are close to you end up becoming blurry, but you can see things that are far. Or astigmatism, or glaucoma, which is increased pressure in the eye. Or cataracts, which is something clouding the lens of your eyes. So now that we have both agreed that your eyes are very important to you, what are the things that you do every day that tend to affect them? I'm a tech bro, I'm a tech sis, I work from home, I'm a stay at home, you know, husband, or do whatever you want to do, and you constantly work with screens. I want you to understand that if you're always exposed to this blue light from your screens, your laptop, your television, that blue light over time could damage the retinal cells of your eye. So if you're looking at your eye, just look at the, think of the retina as the sensor. People who are cameramen will understand what I'm talking about. If you damage that, they could also lead to what we call age-related macular degeneration. How do you now protect your eyes from this blue light damage? Simple. You can use this type of glasses that I'm wearing. They are called blue lens blocking. In other words, they allow most types of lights in and then block out the blue light that's supposed to damage your eyes. Also, your phones, even your laptops, if they are most recent, they have something we call eye care mode. Some people have blue light blocking mode. Use it, especially if you're part of the people that are lying down on their bed and they are pressing phone like this in the middle of the night, you're exposing your eyes directly to blue light. Number two, you're an engineer. You work on site, you you know, you work with certain things that are hazardous. You need to get safety goggles. Why and how do you need safety goggles? If you work with chemicals, for instance, there's a possibility that some of those chemicals can splash or you're working with stones, some of those stones, metals. See, wear those goggles, protect your eyes because one mm, inside your eye. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Or if you're a welder, you know, bright, bright harsh lights, sometimes these things could lead to eye strain. You look for dark sunglasses and then you wear. Another thing that you people tend to forget, the same way if you're working your muscles, your muscles get tired, if you work your brain, your brain get tired, you just assume that it can use your eye, work it from night to morning and it doesn't get tired. Some of you may develop what we call eye strain. There is a very simple rule called the 20-20-20 rule. If you're working in a place, every 20 minutes, remove your eyes from that screen, look at something that is 20 feet away for 20 seconds and then you come back to your screen. It will reduce the way that your eyes get tired. Some of you already said, hey, Apropo doctor, my room is not up to 20 feet. I understand. So what do you do? You can look outside the window. You can just look at something that is different from that laptop or screen or phone for 20 seconds every 20 minutes so that you reduce the way your eyes get tired. Eh? It's like you people have forgotten I went to school because at this point, I need to table out everything you need for your eye health. See, this particular one, let's enter class. Let's go. Follow me. We follow me today to medical school. Let's talk about smoking. And people that take shisha too, I'm talking to you too. I hope you know that one of the ways smoking damages your eyes is when you smoke generally, it reduces blood supply to certain organs. And your eye is still one of the organs that it supplies. Your eye has not gone on leave. It's still there. If you continue to smoke, the blood supply to those areas starts to reduce. And if there's less blood supply to your retina, it's going to affect your vision. Another thing that is also very important is exercise. Why? Because when you exercise, right, your heart rate increases, your blood vessels widen. And these blood vessels in other organs also widen, increasing the blood flow to these organs. The more blood is supplied to these organs, the more nutrients are supplied to those organs, the better they can function. I know somebody is already asking, so if I do shisha in the morning, I can exercise in the afternoon and Ojiro can still do it. It does not work like that. Because smoking doesn't just reduce the blood supply to these organs, it also damages the cells in these particular organs. And the organ that we are focusing on in this particular video is what? It's your eye. Your Oju. Your Anya whatever yes let's not talk about food because i can see if I, anyhow anything that just passes, people will just eat without realizing that your food also affects your eyes but before we go into food let's talk about the kind of nutrients that your body needs we're talking about zeaxanthin we're talking about lutein we're talking about beta carotene we're talking about vitamin c we're talking about vitamin e we're talking about copper we're talking about zinc we're talking about omega-3 fatty acid which is one of the most important things so where do you find them if you're looking for omega-3 fatty acid Oily fish, yes. Some of you are running from the titles in the market. 
It's very good for your eyes. Sardines also very good for your eyes. Another place you can find omega-3 fatty acid is in nuts. Yes, peanuts, granuts. You can also find it. Vitamin C, go for your leafy vegetables, your ugu, your spinach. You know, go for those ones. If you're looking for vitamin E, so peanuts, walnuts, seeds, they contain a lot of vitamin E. If you're looking for vitamin A, sometimes even those sweet potatoes that some of you are running away from contain a lot of vitamin A, beta carotene, which can help you see better. How? Let's focus on vitamin A. Vitamin A contains beta carotene. Beta carotene is an important part of a particular chemical inside your eye known as rhodopsin. Rhodopsin helps your eye absorb light better. She is clear. People can now see that your food impacts your eyes. And also, don't forget fruits. But what kind of fruit? Citrus fruits, oranges, tangerine, whatever. And hope you know that bell pepper sometimes contains more vitamin C than some of your oranges. So, if you're looking for vitamin C to help your eyes, I've given you options. And most importantly, please drink water. I hope with this few points of mine, I've been able to convince you and not confuse you about what your eye really needs. Let's say heat flooding. So what are the things we've learned in this video? Number one, your eyes are very important. Number two, your nutrients or your food also takes care of your eyes. Number three, exercise helps your eyes as they help almost every other part of your body. Number four, you need to protect them. So blue lights blocking, especially if you work with screens, are good. And I hope you guys did not forget the 20-20-20 rule. That is very important, especially if you work with a lot of screens. Number six is your lifestyle can also affect your eyes. So smoking, shisha, lack of exercise, please. Those are things how close you are to the screen. Number seven, you always need to visit an eye doctor to check your eyes. Those of you blaming Gary for lack of eyesight, you know, you're, you're exactly the people I'm talking to. Finally, thank you to Aventra Provision for sponsoring this video and always providing solution for better eye health so that me and you can see each other properly like I will see you in the next one.